Hey guys, so welcome to the second part of build your own workspace in voxels. This is going to be a tutorial, but you really need to understand voxels first. So if you haven't checked out my previous videos, because in some cases I will be going pretty fast here. So the next step after we have our main room and our desk is to create some lights to make it look cool. So I have an LED strip at the edge of my table. So I'm just going to create a very narrow new object. The main color that I'm using for the LED strip is a desaturated pink. So I'm just going to pick that color and for the rest of this entire strip, it's going to be white. So choose the face option. That's the middle one on the top there and choose attach and then just create a white bottom for it. I also create a back wall for the light and then the top wall. And then I fill the center with our picked color, which is going to be the pink. And if you want the light not to spill out too much, you can add a white line on top of the pink or you can just leave it empty. If the strip is smaller than your chosen size, you can modify the values, but you don't really have to. And then go back into the world view and using the arrows, just move it to the right spot. Now select our pink on the color palette, go to the render mode and add some emission to it. So like emission should be probably 100% and then play around with the power value. And I have two extra lights on top of the desk. So I'm just going to create a much smaller object this time, place it on top of the desk and repeat all the steps. But this time the casing is going to be black and those lights are most often blue. So I'm just going to pick the light color to blue. In general, you just repeat the same steps to make it easier for yourself. Pick the color that you want to be glowing, like in our case, to be on the same layer side as our other glowing colors. So my blue is going to be right next to the pink and to the sunlight color. Now it's time to add a mission so the blue is going to glow as well. And I just play around with the values until it looks natural and then I move the light in place. And once I'm happy with the result, I can duplicate the light and move it to the other side of the desk. This is exactly how it looks like on my desk. In the world view, I click and select on every object that's a part of the desk and I move it closer to the wall using the green arrow. Now I duplicate the walls, make them smaller and move them a little bit front to create the baseboards. And I modify the colors because even on my black wall, the baseboard is white. Now select the color that you have for the legs and because mine are metal, they're going to be reflecting the light in some ways. So I'm just adding the metal option to them. And for our final object of today's tutorial, let's create a laptop. And normally my laptop is closed on the desk because I have an external display, but I will build it in the next episode. So in this episode, I'm just going to create an open laptop as if I was using it. So once again, create a new object and try to make it the size that it will be proportional to your desk. But of course, we need some fidelity, so we might have to actually redo the desk and make it a little bit bigger to fit the laptop. OK, so moving stuff in place and let's start building. OK, so I go into the object editing mode. I choose attach and the face and I pick a color that resembles the space gray of my laptop. And no worries, you can modify the color at any point. I pick a lighter gray and go to the box attach, which is the option on the right there. And I create a trackpad. And as you can see, it's sticking out from the base, but that's OK. So now start creating the keys. So create a spacebar first because it's a pretty good point of reference. And you don't really need to worry about fitting all the keys because it doesn't really matter. The point is to make it look like a laptop keyboard, not to have precisely the number of keys that a real one has. So the only key that is going to look a little bit different are the shift keys on the side. So I'm just going to make them double width and the rest of the keys are just going to be the same size. So just keep drawing them. In reality, the MacBook looks a little bit different. The keys are black and the body looks a little bit different. So I'm just going to change it. And of course, you can change the body color at any point. And when I change the color of the keys to black, I make sure that the trackpad actually stays the color that it is right now. So you can also pick the color of the keys and modify that color. And then you can simply change the color of the trackpad to a lighter shade. Now pick the dark color that we're using for the keys and then just click with the attach and the face tool on every individual key so they are sticking out from the base. That's our goal. If your MacBook has a touch bar, you can create that surface as well. And I'm also fixing some color issues on the sides of it. And in my laptop, there is a physical escape key. So I'm modifying it to actually match that as well. And if you want, you can remove one voxel on every corner to have this sort of illusion of a rounded corner. But of course, with voxels, it will never really be rounded. OK, let's quickly check it out in the render mode. And as you can see, it looks quite good. It looks pretty natural. The base of the laptop looks like it's a real laptop. So now we need to create the screen. 
So first let's make the object taller to accommodate for that. And of course the screen will have to be at 90 degrees because it won't really work in voxels well in any other way. And then we start attaching and painting. And remember that the bezels of the screen are black, but the back case is actually space gray as well. So our screen has to be at least two voxels thick for it to work. So after adding the black bezel, I add another space gray line behind it and I just drag it up. So here I create the side bezels and I drag them up as well. And I'm using the box tool to create them and then the face tool to drag them up. Now I switch the color to space gray and using the face tool I drag up the back plate of the laptop. And then I use the line tool to create the top bezel. Now I rotate the view around and I fill in the gaps in the back casing so it doesn't really show the bezel on the back side. And if you want that fake rounded corner look, you can also remove one voxel from both the bezel and the back plate. Now we can create a new glowing color for the screen or we can fill it with one of the already selected ones. And then let's go to render and check it out. Yeah, looking awesome. And we're gonna stop here. So make sure to make your own laptop and your own lights in this episode. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one when we make some additional furniture, a nice floor and everything else that's needed for the room. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.